Hello and welcome back uh, to, with us here at Zero Camp. So we're going to go ahead and do our last unboxing from Gen Con. I've got the Brine Blood Marauders box for the Southern Creels uh, here. You saw the magnets, and we're going to go ahead and start pulling out the components and taking a look at this stuff. Uh, just again, I am doing a voiceover after the fact on this one, so this is not going to have the fun noises, but get a good kind of look as much as we can at the glossy artwork that it comes with. Uh, I do apologize, it's a little hard to see with the light we've got, but we'll go ahead and open up box one and we'll take a look here. So it is important to note here, I struggle so hard with the bubble wrap uh, once again on these. It's, it's comical. So we left all of that in there so we can laugh at how silly I am. All right, so three little component pouches in box number one. And as I struggle to get this first one open, uh, this is actually the Warlock uh, that comes in the box. So this is Captain Firequill. Uh, awesome looking print. I, I really love the variety of guns. I love the, the starfish on it. It's a very sturdy print. Uh, it, it's just got so much character. It's so fun. Now, the one thing that I did notice is there is the tab on the base. I'm sorry, on the foot of the model for the base. I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure why that's there, but if that's my biggest complaint about this guy, uh, I think we'll be okay. All right, we'll struggle to open up the bowl wrap again here. And so this is a model that we've seen a little bit already with the preview boxes, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time showing it off. But this is the Heavy War Beast, the Deep Born Dire Troll. Uh, he's got all, all his little arms and accessories, and we'll kind of look at a few of the bits here. Uh, some of the fins, um, the arms as well. Um, I, I'm not going to lie. The, the shark is probably my most favorite weapon everywhere. Just chomp, chomp, chomp. Good times. And then here's the main body. Uh, so this is going to be an interesting kit to, to magnetize. It's got some real deep pockets for those magnets to go in. I think just so that way everything snaps into place, but... I mean, as with everything else, just the, the print quality on these has been fantastic, but I'm just blitzing through most of what's going on here, like just taking a quick look at the squid, we'll quickly look at the anger weapon, and kind of just move the heads to the side. Even though the heads are a lot of fun, um, you have just a lot of variety on the heads of the deep born. Moving on to the last pouch, though, from the first box, uh, again... This is something else we've seen just with the preview boxes out there. This is their Light Beast, the Reef Troll. So kind of, again, we're going to not talk too much about it and not spend a whole ton of time on there, but we've got the main body, we've got the cannon arm, and a few other components I'll go over as well. Um, similar to what I saw with the desk box, um, if you had not watched this video, sorry, that video, uh, the resin in here, it's, it's different than the, uh, the prior version we'd seen. But it's pretty sturdy stuff. Uh, I don't feel like it's going to snap or break in my hands. It's not brittle. Oh, and I love these little uh, alcohol casts that go on the reef born for his animus. It's a lot of fun. Then moving on to box two. Uh, so getting into all the new stuff, the stuff we have not seen before, um, unless you watched uh, the stream and uh, for the unboxing that happened just as Gen Con was getting started. But as I once again struggle to open up the uh, the bubble wrap, that's the common theme. Apparently my dice and bubble wrap cause me problems. But this model, uh, as we're getting into it, this was probably my favorite model in the box. This is the attachment for the Marauder Crew, the Marauder Crew Bosun. This model uh, has just a lot of character building with the pose. It's got a fun weapon too. We don't spend a lot of time looking at it, and I'm kind of bummed that I didn't record more on it. It's it's a gorgeous model. I'm really looking forward to seeing it painted on the tabletop. So this other pouch though that came in box two is the unit, uh, one of the two units, uh, several units actually, the Marauder Crew. I honestly had not been sold on the whole pirate troll aesthetic personally. Um, I know there's a lot of people who were, but I, looking at these, 
uh, they breathe so much character into each individual grunt in this unit. Uh, we'll see a little bit later, but uh, like the other boxes, if there's more than one of the same unit in a box, uh, they've got different poses for all of those cults. So we'll just go ahead and mosey on over to box three. Uh, we've got some component pouches in here. We'll bust these open. Now this is a uh, fun to watch me struggle with it because it was held on by a piece of tape. It's even less complicated than a their normal adhesive on the bubble wrap. And boy, do I struggle opening this. It's okay to laugh. Please laugh. I'm laughing. That being said, as I finally get it open, this is probably my second favorite model in this box. Oh boy, this is the Solo. Uh, this is the Surgeon. That's it. That's the whole name for the model. I really like uh, your pose. I, there's a lot going on on the model, but he's got like a saw shark as like a bone saw. He's got a weapon. The weapon's just called Tools of the Trade. It's kind of hilarious, but the sculpt is a lot of fun. There's a lot of character there. And just all the little accoutrements and the shark are just, they're really nice touches. And then this bag that opens up, as I was talking about earlier, this is actually the second Marauder crew uh, inside this box. So look at them really quickly here. Again, it, they all are different sculpts. Um, all 10 of the grunts between the two different units are different sculpts. They're a lot of fun. I think Privateer did a great job with these as well. The Diving Helmet, classic, just like the Remnant Crew of the Atreus for those that played in prior editions. It was a Crix unit of Undead Pirates, but the, the Diving Helmet's a nice touch. Nice throwback, if you will. And then moving on to our last box, box number four. So here we're expecting uh, two units and an attachment, and we'll kind of look at them as they come out. Once again, bubble wrap, my mortal and eternal nemesis. Now, part of the reason I struggle here is that this is a tiny unit. Um, we're getting into the pigs, actually. So pigs, uh, for those that are not familiar with the troll lore, are some of the smallest troll bloods. They're not the smallest, but they're some of the smallest. They're they're still scented, they still do stuff, but oh man, these are fun. These guys remind me not all that, uh, I guess not, they're not unlike the Swamp Gower River Raiders. They're tiny little pirate dudes. They're a lot of fun. Um, they've got grenades, but each, there's so much character packed in each of these guys. You're like, come on, this guy's got a peg leg. That's awesome. Can't tell me that's not super cool. And again, like even though these guys are small, they're, they're really small models. There's just so much packed into them. Again, a lot of character. That's the one thing I will really say about the Brine Blood Marauders is there's so much character in all of these sculpts in this box. It's just, there's so much you can do with them. There's so much flavor. And so this next uh, patch, packet we open up here is actually the pig galley crew so this is another small unit um this is similar to the war machine faction so far the empower bots the pig galley crew uh can add or remove fury from war beasts or they have the comfort food rule where war beasts can actually remove models to remove as many fury as they need uh but i really love these um kind of again reminiscent of like the the swamp gob or not the, the gobber chef uh, from Mercenaries and Prior Editions. There's a little bit of like resin fuzz on one of those models, but honestly, it didn't impact the sculpt. That's the most egregious thing I've seen inside this box as far as prep work is I've had to remove a little bit of fuzz. But the last model we've got here, this is another really fun one. Uh, this is an attachment to the Marauder Crew, the Marauder Crew Quartermaster. And you can just see right away, this model is just packed to the brim with stuff. Got a big backpack uh, with all kinds of stuff, a little pig on top. He's got the shotgun and he's a good time. And so that's uh, the Brian Blood Marauders box. We just want to thank everyone uh, for watching uh, Zero Camp Hero. We had a lot of fun at Gen Con, a lot of fun unboxing these. 
So please uh, feel free to get a like and subscribe, uh, or if you're not too much follow, we really appreciate everything. We hope you all take care, and we'll catch you on our weekly streams.